good morning students yesterday i started the lesson the real departed i completed some part of the lesson today i like to continue the other part of the lesson the real departed yesterday i told you the meaning the real lovable candidate to family members departed means died the lovable family member died the lovable family member to all remaining family members he was dead so the the one act play it is one act play it was written by william stanley hofton and the characters characters are mrs emilia slater mrs elizabeth jordan those two are sisters henry slater ben jordan husbands of emilia and elizabeth victoria slater a girl of 10 emilia's daughter Abel Murray Weather, father of Emilia and Elizabeth. Jimmy, son of Elizabeth Jordan. Yesterday, I told you the play starts with Emilia Slaughter. She is uh, doing something at the table. At that time, Victoria is uh, uh, playing outside. She called her daughter to change her dress because her father was dead. They are uh, they are coming. She they have sent a telegram to. her sister and sister's husband and uh, uh, before they are coming she asked her daughter to change dress because it was a morning dress a dress morning day it was a morning day she should not wear colorful dress they have to wear black dress that's why emilia slaughter uh, asked her daughter to change her dress before the arrival of ben jordan uh, and elizabeth jordan so in the meantime emilia slaughter asked her husband to change the bureau it was the the it was bought by abel mary weather abel mary weather but uh, emilia wanted it emilia likes it before they are coming she wanted to shift from father's room to her room and uh, one more thing is this clock she wa she likes these two things and she wanted to take them before her sister's arrival she in the uh, shifting bureau she needs the help of her husband but uh, henry was uh, hesitating to do help in carrying those things but however she he had helped her and they have shifted the bureau and they fastened the front door uh, and uh, they started shifting these things before they coming in the meantime the door was knocked victoria see continuation of lesson victoria that's grandpa's clock victoria when they were shifting these things victoria questioned uh, victoria question her father first why are you uh, why are you uh, removing your coat father we are uh, shifting father said we are shifting the bureau from grandfather's room to down why she question uh, are you still trying to pinch it she question but father was shocked and uh, he said uh, to her daughter it was given to your mother by grandfather he said but uh, when she question again this morning he said but this morning he was drunken and uh, lay in the bed she said at that time victoria uh, sorry my henry slater is uh, uh, bringing Uh, fetch the clock also a handsome clock it is the picture handsome clock she likes it very much and before they are coming she wanted to do these things down so victoria that's asked when they are shifting these things victoria asked that's grandpa's clock mrs slaughter be quiet it's ours now come henry lift your hand it's ours now from today onwards it is ours it's not grandfathers grandfathers grandfather was dead grandfather had died it's ours from today be quiet victoria don't uh, talk she said and come henry she called her husband come come henry lift your hand take this uh, side and help me to shift this thing she said henry and mrs slaughter very hot and flushed stager in with a pretty old fashioned bureau containing a locked desk they put it where the chest of drawers was 
and straighten the ornaments, etc. There is a knock at the door. The knocking is repeated. Henry and Mrs. Lauter, very hot and flushed. She was flushed, flushed with success. Become red. She was very pleased to change these two things. Become red and hot. Very pleased. And they shifted the things successfully. And at the same time, the door. There is a knock at the door. The knocking was repeated. Victoria Asher Singh. Asher means welcome. Victoria Asher, welcome. Or show the way. In. Welcome or show the way. Victoria Asher Singh, Asher Singh, Ben and Mrs. Jordan. Later is a stout. Asher Singh, Ben and Miss, Mrs. Jordan. Later is a stout. Stout, very fat, complacent. Complacent means satisfied. Complacent. Satisfied. Complacent means satisfied. Woman with an irritating air of being always right. She is wearing an outfit of, sorry, she is wearing an outfit of new morning. New morning. It was a morning day. Sad day. Morning day means sad day because their father was dead. That's why they wear black clothes. So already she wore, she wore uh, outfit an outfit of new morning and a black dress. Ben is also in complete new morning. Ben also wore black dress. He is rather a jolly little man but at present trying to adapt himself to the regrettable occasion. So actually he, he was very jolly man, very happy. Always he was very happy, but at present he is trying to regret, to adapt himself, to adapt himself to the regrettable occasion. The occasion was sad situation, present situation was very sad, that's why they should be uh, unhappy and uh, they have to be in sorrow state, that's why he is adapt himself to the regrettable occasion. Mrs. Jordan says, says means move. means move. Move into the room and solemnly goes straight to Mrs. Latter and kisses her. The men shake hands. The men, the both uh, uh, Ben Jordan and uh, Henry Slater uh, shake hands and to Amelia uh, Slater and uh, Elizabeth, uh, uh, Amelia Slater and Elizabeth Jordan kisses to each other. Mrs. Jordan is speaking now. Well, Amelia and so he has gone at last. Amelia, however, he has gone at last. Who said these words? Mrs. Jordan said to her sister in this letter. However, this man has gone. This man has gone at last. Amelia, she said. Mrs. Latter, yes, he has gone. He was 72 a fortnight last, last Sunday. He was 72 years old man. He was a 72 years old man. Uh, fortnight last Sunday. Last Sunday. Fortnight. He was 72 years, 72 years old man. She sniffs back a tear. She is acting. Just uh, uh, she is uh, uh, crying and she, she was uh, unhappy because of uh, their father died. Uh, she acts. Just uh, she sniffs back a tear. Ben. Chirpiri. Very happy. Chirpili means very happy. Joy. Cheerful. Very cheerful. Happy. Joy. Ben says, uh, Chirpili, now, Emilia, you mustn't give away. You have all, we have all got to die sometime or other. We have all got to die sometime or other. Everybody has to die one day or other day. You need not cry. Ben said to Amelia. Mrs. Jordan, and now perhaps you will tell us all about it. Okay, uh, that's okay. Now you have to say what happens, why he has he died. Uh, everything you explain, what happened before he died. Everything you explain, Amelia, you tell me all about it. 
her sister asked. Mrs. Latter, father had been married this morning. Mrs. Latter is speaking with them, with Ben Jordan and Elizabeth Jordan. Father had been very happy today, this morning. He went out soon after breakfast to pay his insurance. He was very happy this morning. After taking breakfast, he went out to pay his premium. Uh, very happy he went out after taking breakfast. To pay why he has gone out to uh, gone out after taking breakfast to pay insurance. Ben, oh my, my word, it's a good thing he did. Okay, he has done a good thing. However, he had done a good thing, Ben said. Mrs. Jordan, he always was thoughtful in that way. Always he was a very thoughtful person. She is appreciating at that time um, her father because he paid um, insurance. He paid insurance. He was too honorable to have gone without paying his premium. If he doesn't pay premium, he was not good. Okay, he was too honorable to have gone without paying his premium. If he didn't pay premium and he had gone, he had died means he was not good in their opinion. That's why they have used this sentence. He was too honorable to have gone without paying his premium. Henry, and when I came in, I found him undressed sure enough and snug in bed. Henry also speaking. I came in, I found him. He was undressed and uh, snug very comfortably. Warm and comfortable. Snug means warm and comfortable. Warm and comfortable. Warm and comfortable. Snug, warm and comfortable. He is taking, he comfortably uh, taking rest on a bed, in, he said. Mrs. Slaughter, and when we would finish dinner, when we had finished dinner, I thought I would take up a bit of something on a tray. So after finishing our dinner, we want to take something, a little bit on a tray. He was lying there for all the world as if he was asleep. So I put the tray down on the bureau, on the chest of drawers, and went to waken him. He was quite cold. Actually, we had finished our um, dinner. Uh, I have a little, little thought. I want to take something for him. I put something on a tray and I went to the bedroom, father's bedroom, and he was taking rest in bed and he was lying there. How he was lying there for the all world as if he was asleep. So I put the tray down on the bureau, on the chest of drawers, and went to awake him. He was quite cold. A pass. They wipe their eyes and sniff back tears. They are trying, acting to cry. They wipe their eyes and sniff back tears. As if they were crying, they are acting and sniff back tears. Mrs. Latter rising briskly at length in a business like tone. Well, will you go up and look at him now or shall we have tea? Okay. In this way, she explained Emilia Slaughter and Henry Slaughter explained to about the death of Abel Merriweather, what happened before he had taken breakfast and went out to pay his premium also. He was very happy this morning and after taking dinner, we, I went to, to give something to father. I went to his bedroom but he was lying in the bed and sleeping. But I put aside the tray and uh, trying to wake him, he was quite cold. And they tried to weep. But Mrs. Daughter, in a business-like tone, Well, will you go? Will you go up and look at him? Or otherwise shall we take tea? She asked. Mrs. Jordan, what do you say, Ben? She asked her husband. What do you say? Tell me, we, shall we take tea? Or... Uh, to look at uh, dead body of their father, she asked. Mrs. Jordan, uh, Mrs. Ben said, I am not particular. Mrs. Jordan, surveying the table, well then, if the kettle is ready, we may as well have tea first. If the kettle is ready, first we prefer tea, then later we go to see the dead body of father. 
Mrs. Elizabeth Jordan said. Mrs. Latter puts the kettle on the fire and gets tea ready. So they all sit together to take tea. They are all ready to take tea first. Then later they will give, they, they will go up to see the dead body of father. The, to this uh, sentence proves they have no affection towards uh, father. First of all, uh, when they come directly, they have to go to the father to see, um, to see his uh, dead body. But uh, they are talking about the premium uh, payment and uh, tea. For the, uh, they are taking tea. For the, the, through these sentences, it was proved they have no affection towards their father. They, they want uh, his money and uh, things to share between them. Uh, so, here uh, we can understand how elderly people are mistreated. Students, I continue next part of the lesson in the next class. Thank you. Up to this part, you read lesson.